Hey everybody, uh, your host is Colette here with you with a brand new Let's Play, Chroma Sense 2, Under the Knife, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Anyway, here is the down low about this game. It's a surgery game, so we'll be doing some operations. Storyline is a little bit low, just a little bit long. So it'll be about five, six minutes before we get into the first surgery, but it's cool. Um, anyway, so you'll be doing a lot of reading, and I might be just do some of the voices if I feel like it. So don't even bother by giving me messages saying that you guys can read. I'm doing it for the blind people or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> or those that can't read. <laughs> anyway, get this all set up here. So right now we're going to do a new game. Okay, and put it this out easy. Okay, this takes place in the Republic of Kaskar in Africa. Okay, anyway, you would be playing, well, I would be playing as a Dr. Dr. Styles. And, of course, I'm going to have a nurse with me, Nurse Angie, who I think she probably still talks too much during the operations, but I guess that's her job to guide me through, I suppose. I guess she don't think that I'm good enough to be a good, wicked surgeon, but <laughs> anywho, anywho, <laughs> So anyway, a doctor named Derek Stiles has come to Sakara, one of the Kaskar's many refugee camps, to provide medical care for those in need. In these harsh lands, they are ill-equipped for providing medical care. Derek spends every day pouring his heart into saving those suffering from diseases, like any good doctor would be. But of course, there's an equal, and probably even a better nurse, to save his ass. Anyway, this episode is Refugee Camp. Doctor. Anyway, this is Nurse Angie. And she's saying his vitals are dropped. Okay, so they're working on a patient. And he's pa and apparently he's not doing well. Angie. So, Dr. Stahl is all playing all cool. He's saying he'll be alright because he's very confident. I'm going to continue as is. Derek Stiles, okay. And of course, he likes to travel the, war the world helping patients and, every and all of that good stuff. Anyway, so he's saying that we need to stop bleeding and hand me the forceps. Yes, doctor. And of course, Angie Thompson, who's only 24, she is an elite nurse with the international nursing license. She stands in the front line of medical care as Derek's trusted partner. And they're the dynamic duel. Of course they're the dynamic duel. <laughs> they're the ones that conquer guilt. And in this one it'll be post-guilt syndrome that they will be dealing with later on. Into the story. And if you're wondering why my cursor is in the screen, it's because... I have to because that would be my stylus. So that is my control. And of course, they saved another patient. Hooray for Dr. Stiles and Angie. Let's close them up, he says. Dr. Stiles! We're still operating. Please stay outside. Wow, she's nasty. I'm sorry, but we just received word on an emergency patient. What? The army's patrol unit found a man collapsed in a swamp. It seems that he was attacked by a wild animal and he's a critical, in critical condition. What should we do, doctor? Well, you are an elite nurse. You should know. <laughs> We're going to operate on him. 
She whiz! Ah, don't they teach you anything? We're not done with this procedure yet. What about the new doctor who was supposed to start today? He hasn't arrived yet. His bus must be running late. All right. Angie, on count on and you get the emergency patient brought in. I'll finish up here myself. Understood. Understood, doctor. Miss <laughs> Thompson, please follow me. <laughs> Anywho, here comes the new doctor. His name is Adele Toba. And he says, so this is Camp Sakara. I've heard rumors about this place, but talk about unsettling. Hmm, I wonder where the clinic is. Freeze! Stop right there! We'll shoot! We have orders to detain anyone who looks suspicious. Wow, he's nasty. <laughs> no, I'm not a refugee. Please, no shoes. My name is Adele. Adele Tuba. I'm going to be working here as a doctor, and today is my first day. And you're also running late. Ah, here's my here's my identification. Okay, anyway, he's a young surgeon from Casca and just finished his medical training. And of course, he's determined to restore his country. He has been assigned to Sakara's medical ward. Hand it over. Oh, good. Looks like you're a doctor, all right. Ah. Welcome aboard. Are you from the Rezu tribe, by any chance? What business is that of yours? Seriously. Uh, yes. I'm um, uh, looking for the clinic. Oh, it's right over. Ah, good timing. Here comes an American nurse. Please hurry. Ah, what do you know? First two minutes or so, he comes in and he has an emergency to tend to. Okay. Uh, looks like you'll be hitting the good running, doctor. Crown running, I should say. <laughs> the patient is suffering from multiple wounds and is bleeding profusely. Dr. Styles, are you ready to begin treatment? Styles? Yeah. Yes, the room's available. We'll begin immediately, Angie. Our supplies are limited, but we're going to have to make do. Yes, you're always supposed to make do with what you got. <laughs> Doctor, I can help. My name is Adele, and I'm a new surgeon here. Great timing, but we'll introduce ourselves after this is over. As you can see, we don't have the proper equipment in this place. I need you to support me. Well, why would they do all the talking if they got an emergency patient that needs operating on? Huh. Anyway. Yes, sir. I could change right away. The patient has arrived. Alright, let's begin the operation. <laughs> let's see okay here's the patient's chart uh, let's see here and right now it says underneath the conditions that the lacerations and fractured left leg surgery for the lacerations and bone reformation are necessary so in other words stop the bleeding and everything else and put them back together <laughs> let's begin the briefing our patient is 28 years old Caucasian male suffering external injuries to his left calf He's been identified as a member of the criminal organiz organization that poaches rhinoceroses. Wow, that's nasty. Apparently he was attacked by a crocodile when he was walking through a river. Well, guess what goes around comes around, huh? You know what? My sentiments exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. I don't have any sympathy for him either, doctor. That may be, but our obligation is to give every patient what they need, regardless. Spoken like a true nurse. <laughs> He's got some large lacerations and it looks like there are some fractured too. Fractures too, of course it is. Do you see anything else, Adele? Well, he's bleeding profusely from the area where he was bitten. And the way the bone is broken. Maybe there's a foreign object inside the wound. Understood. You think so? We'll have to keep that in mind as we cooperate. Of course. Okay. The objectives for this operation are arrest the bleeding and suture the external wounds and reform the fractured bone. Simple as that. Remember, we have to do our best. Let's begin the operation. Can't she trust me? I'm a doctor. Seriously. 
And this is our first operation. operation. Ten minutes into the program, too. Or into the episode. Oh, well. Better late than never. Anyway, you can see that his vitals are only 45, so we have to get that up. So, right here, let's see. And she just mentioned that. The nurse just mentioned that, too. The patient's vitals have dropped due to hemorrhage and external trauma. Okay. Let's treat the external wounds first. The sutures are ready. Please select the sutures. Okay, these are your sutures. So... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it's kind of hard when this is a small little screen. Please inject the medication. Okay, inject the stabilizer. Now, see, I got his spiders up normal. Now, let's move into uh, treating those small wounds. Okay, the antibiotic gel also Lift Lift is for small wounds. And it's actually good to boost the vitals, as she is explaining to us. So, puts, there you go. Now let's... And of course you should always sanitize your area. Okay, forceps. Pull them out. Use the antibiotic gel. Now, make sure you pull out when you're extracting. Pull out the way that it is in. Mm -hmm. If not, you're gonna miss. Could it be? Now, he's noticing something. The wound treatment is done. Now let's move on to placing the bone. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that you only have a certain amount of time. Sometimes you might have five minutes, sometimes you got eight minutes. I don't know. It depends. Anyway, he's saying, wait, it looks like there are some foreign objects mixed in the bone fragments that you retrieved. Those two sharp ones? I don't think they're bone fragments. They look like more like crocodile teeth. Wow, must have bit them that hard and lose his teeth. Crocodile teeth? You're right, they certainly aren't human bones. No wonder it seems like there are too many pieces. I'll go ahead and discard them. Thank you. And of course, Adele is getting recognition by Dr. Sauce. I'm surprised you noticed that. You got quite an eye. Yes, please let us know if you see anything else unusual. Got it. Of course! <laughs> Let's move into the restructuring the bone. Okay, so right now, with the shin bone, what we do is we're going to take the forceps and push it in. Use the forceps. Okay, and of course, going to use the forceps to put together the pieces of the puzzle. You're doing well. Of course, I'm doing well. I'm a doctor. A fixation of the bone fragments is complete. Amazing. And of course Adele's amazed by it. I was confident about how fast the army would operate, but I don't even compare to him. Who is this doctor? <sighs> okay, treatment is complete. Let's close the patient up. The sutures are ready. Okay. Uh, and of course, add your little bandage. Operation complete. Great work, of course. Operation successful. So, we didn't lose a patient this time. That's good. And you get your, res your results here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I am the master surgeon. 
who the man? Oops, the woman, I should say. <laughs> Amazing! Wow, I'm shocked! You're incredibly precise, and your speed, it was simply amazing! I've never seen an apparition like that, Dr. Styles. It was nothing special, just a result of years of practice. Oh, how modest is he? And he's kinda cute, really. And my husband is just looking at me like I got ten heads, saying, You're married! Yeah, he does that when I says that I love to rock, too. Eh, what can you do? Can't taste the touch. And your advice is very helpful too, Dr. Star says. Well, still, compared to anyone I knew back in med school, your abilities are far superior. But why would someone like you be in a place like this? It shouldn't surprise you to find doctors where there are patients, should it? Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Derek Stiles, and as of today, I'm going to be your mentor. Nice to meet you, Adele. And of course, he's he got the face on him like he just won a million dollars. Huh? You're going to be my... Let's do our best. And of course, the nurse. I'm Angie Thompson, his surgical assistant. Nice to meet you. We're looking forward to being able to handle these kinds of operations soon. Oh, yes, I'll do my best. And of course, this puts an end to the very first chapter. Anyway, I will mention to you that not all of these little chapters, like units, like chapter 1-1 one, one, and chapter 1-2, there are certain ones that are just storylines, like just the stories and not operations. You will see that in here in Refugee Camp, the one we just finished, has a gold bar, which means that it that there's a surgery into the game and this one like Master Surgeon is just a is just you know just a story anyway um, I think I'm gonna stop this right now because we're like almost eight the 17 minutes and 30 seconds in so and I'm getting tired right now <laughs> so peace out everyone and Check out uh, our Much Games guides here on YouTube. Okay, chill out.